I don't know. University, maybe? No. They wouldn't take me. There's this home that my dad's arranged. There you'll have a good view of the lawns. My father says... I cannot make it any plainer, William. If you do not look after yourself, your father will. Do you want that? If you don't decide what you want to do with your life, your life, not your parents, then you will be an eternal child. If you do not find your voice and your balls, we will all have wasted our time. Do not ask me what you do now. Tell me. I don't know. <laughs> then I can't help you. Good, yeah? I'd like to raise the subject of the spinal unit extracurricular activities. Extracurricular? I haven't brought my dictionary. Your ridiculous national games. Ah, yes. Good news travels fast. What's your objection, Mr. Carr? Well, where do I start? What is the point of it? Wheelchairs racing across the lawns and croquet and... Only javelin and archery this year. This year? You must have heard about the Olympics in London, yeah? Bloody hell. Why not? Because they're cripples. <laughs> not in the Olympics themselves, alongside. Parallel too. For now. He is mad. You know they call him Popper, don't you? That's how much respect they have for him. How many patients uh, will be attending? Perhaps 15. The national games will be a laughing stock. National implies the best. The national cricket team, the national rugby team. What are these people the best of? The best of men. For God's sake. Yes, indeed, Mr. Cowan, for God's sake. I find this interrogation insulting. Gentlemen. He'll be shipping in a bloody brass band next. We've already had the windmill girls. What is it that so offends you? Yes, that's the word. It offends me. It does. This is a hospital. We have respectable people here visiting sick relatives. We have children visiting their parents. I don't understand. It's not pleasant. I'm sorry, but it's not. People in wheelchairs, withered limbs, damaged bodies. <sighs> now I understand. I'm not going to a geriatric home. They're not all old. There's a little girl in a basket chair. You can't live alone. Why not? I can dress myself, bathe myself, wipe my own bum. There's no need to talk like that. And what happens if you fall out of that thing? Thing? My chair. Wind's repairing cars from made a hoisting so we can lean into the engine. Wind has a wife. He isn't living alone. We don't know what you want. To be my own man. Live my own life. Wherever I am, be part of the world. We hide them away. Is this it? Is this what you say? <clears throat> Corporal Bowen, with a bit of humour as a wife who loves him. Corporal James, with the longing to teach history. David Darkus, who plays the baboon like an angel. <laughs> and William Heath. <laughs> who has fought longer and harder to survive than you will ever have to. We are ashamed of them. I'm not saying that. No. You are not honest enough to say it. I'm sorry, William, but we can't allow that. Now, we've got a room waiting for I'm you. I'm 20, Dad. Being like this doesn't make me six again. I'm an adult. We've written our wills. Everything we have, we leave to you in trust. You don't trust me with a checkbook. Just bugger off, Dad, because I don't want any of it. Delusions of grandeur. I will have my parallel Olympics, Mr. Cowan. Oh, it gets better and better. I will. And the rest of you can go to the devil. Yes, very adult.